Hey guys, just a quick video for today. Uh, I've got a 386DX40 and a 64 meg compact flash card. I'm going to do a proper installation of DOS 3.3. So let's fire the system up and we'll go into BIOS. So in BIOS, we need to auto-detect that hard drive, or compact flash. Yeah, it picked up as a 62 meg, but that's okay. And I've got a 1.44 meg floppy drive. DOS 3.3, if I'm not mistaken, was the first version of DOS to actually support the 1.44 meg floppy drive. That's how far back we're going in time here. Hmm, and we've got a disk I.O. error. Now I'm using a real floppy here, so it's possible that may be a bad disk. Oh, no. I know what's wrong. Let's go back into BIOS and actually set it to boot from that disk. That might help. And let's try again. Okay, this time it did a seek on the drive. And we're booting into DOS. Before we can install on that drive, uh, we need to clear the partition and create a new one. But this old version of FDisk doesn't give us the option to delete that partition. Now it actually is a DOS partition, I know that for a fact. But it's a little bit too big for this old version of DOS. So I'm going to boot from a DOS 622 disk. and we'll delete the partition. So I'll just back out of setup and go to FDisk. FDisk shows a primary DOS partition. Let's try and delete that. If you get a drive like this with a weird volume label, you can simply reformat it. That'll blank out the label. And then go into FDisk, and you should be able to delete the partition. Now I should be able to delete that partition. That looks better. So we'll reboot again, and this time we're going to boot from the DOS 3.3 installation disk. And let's go into FDisk. Good, so now we're starting with a completely blank disk. We'll create a primary DOS partition. Now in DOS 3.3, you're limited to a 32 meg partition. So we'll have to split this drive up into multiple partitions.
and now I should have a C and a D drive. And we'll format the C and the D drives. To install DOS 3.3 properly, you should use the select command. Now essentially what it does, it'll reformat the drive for us, install the system files, and then copy over DOS. What most people do, uh, they simply uh, format slash s on the C drive, and then manually copy everything over. You can absolutely do it that way, it does work, but this is the way that DOS 3.3 would have been installed in the period. Select A colon C colon slash DOS 001 US. That means we're installing from the A drive to the C drive into a directory called C colon slash DOS, and we have a US keyboard layout. And there we are. We've got a full install of Microsoft DOS 3.30 and configured for a US keyboard layout. Now, this version of DOS did not come with the edit command. Prior to DOS 5.0, you had to use something called Edlin. It was a line editor. I've used Edlin before. It's not terribly user-friendly. Yeah, the edit command was a massive upgrade. That was part of the reason I installed MS-DOS 5.0 on my CCS286. So that's about it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, uh, drop a comment down below. Feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.